Good morning, tubers. Matt M. Roy back again, back with Dad in the truck. And we are getting prepared for the storm of the century, century, century. No, not really, but if you listen to the local news, they make you believe it is. <laughs> uh, the latest on the storm is we're supposed to be getting about a foot of snow in our area. Um, they're, they're saying eight to 10 inches, but in our area, they say locally heavier amounts. So we're looking right around 12 so far. And pretty much that's enough to put everything here on a standstill for about a week, let's say. <laughs> I know those of you that are up north probably think this is ridiculous. We're just a bunch of crybabies, but you know what? That's what we have to work with here. We don't have a lot of snow removal equipment. So we're heading over to Food Line right now. We're gonna pick up some uh, stuff for dinner tonight some canned food and canned soups and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. This is the basically the day before the storm and let's see if there's anything left. Next thing you see will be probably an empty store. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see this but we're having accidents already. Uh, right behind that car the other one rear-ended them so you know what before the weather even gets bad people around here still right, can not become a food line. Let's see how busy it is. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's pretty darn busy for uh, for a Friday afternoon. It's only 12.30, so yeah, I don't really expect there to be too much left in the store. You can see the Eckert or the Rite Aid here is getting a uh, delivery. Let's go in and see what right, goodies YouTube, await let's us. Let's see, uh, see what we can see in here. It doesn't look too bad so far. Well, looks like all the uh, junk food is still here. May have to pick up some of these. You got buy one, get one free Doritos. Oh, G you all right? Here, I'll get that yeah. for you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it always happens. <laughs> I swear that happens to me on a weekly basis, too. Let's see, oh, I got to get mom her frosted mini wheats if they have them. Looks like this is pretty... Uh, picked over but I do see them right here bingo on sale too 328 not a bad deal next I got to go pick up some ricotta cheese for this our uh, dinner aisle. I usually expect to be uh, cleared out when you're expecting bad weather no oh, it's actually not too bad Let's see if they got any ricotta cheese left bingo right there and what we want is the whole milk ricotta cheese. So we're going to be doing ZD tonight. I've tried the uh, skim milk stuff, and that just tastes really nasty. Well, I am pleasantly surprised. You can see that still a good amount of bread here. Don't really need it, though. If I needed bread, I could have picked it up at uh, Dollar Tree. They had a bunch, too. But you can see what is totally cleared out here is the milk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've never actually seen the back of this milk chest. The only thing they got left is this 1% low-fat milk, and that is about it. It looks like even the skim milk is sold out. So if you guys are getting bad weather in your area, yeah, definitely expect the milk to be right, totally so sold met up out. With Dad back here, and we got to see if we can find the pasta that we need. We're looking for ziti, which is right here. Not a bad deal on sale for uh, 89 cents for a one pound thing of ziti. I'm actually going to buy two of them because I think we're going to do a little extra to have, just in case we lose power, that's something we should be able to heat up on the stove really quickly and uh, eat quite a bit of. One of my favorite dishes. And now we got to get some soup and then we're going to head home and back well, down the I take a seat outside for a minute while uh, Dad's checking out. So it wasn't too bad. Uh, milk was sold out. Uh, the bread... They seem to restock that fairly nice. They did at the dollar store too, but I think that's because they actually got a delivery earlier today. So not going to be too bad. And hopefully, you know, even though if we get a foot of snow, usually these stores will stay open if they can. So, you know, we're only a mile away from here. So we should be able to get here with a truck if we do need something. Um, we went ahead and cleaned up the rest of the leaves in the back, or at least as much as we could. There's just a little bit left in that rear uh, left corner. So we can get that after the snow melts, but the majority of the leaves have been cleared out of the back. 
Um, I actually had to take out a partial bird's nest from the uh, grill yesterday. <laughs> that was interesting. I don't know why they insist on making nests inside the grill. I guess because it's a little bit of a shelter for them. Um, I try to plug up the hole. I think they're getting in through the vent in the back. And what I think I'm going to wind up doing is just putting like a, a garbage bag because our grill cover just disintegrated last year. But I think if I put a garbage bag on there with a couple of bungee cords, that should prevent them from uh, getting back into the uh, to the grill to try to make a nest. Because not only is it nasty, but it actually um, it actually degrades the grills. This is the second actually the second set of grills we've had for that, and they tend to rot out fairly quickly. So I'm going to take care of that when we get home. Uh, finish a couple of other little things I want to do before the snow comes, and uh, I will talk Go to you guys a little head bit later. Outside. You can see the temperature right now. This is not reading accurate. This says it's actually 50 or 48, but if you look over here, the more accurate one is the digital one saying it's 39. Mainly that's because the sun hits this and kind of makes it go crazy. So this is accurate more at nighttime. Let me show you what we were doing out here yesterday. We've been clearing away all the leaves. Pretty much when we first started pawing them, they went all the way to the end there, almost up to our neighbor's shed. And now this is all we got left in the corner here. Pretty much this, the past two weeks, we're able to get the leaves from right about where that tree is to right over here. So we just have a little bit near the wood pile, a little pile there, and then just a little bit over there. This is fine because grass never actually grows in this corner anyway. So this we can kind of take our time with. And what I'm hoping is the leaves will go ahead and decompose a little bit. Once we pull them up, the soil over here should be very very rich from all the decomposition and i'm hoping we can try to plant grass here next year i'm thinking i might try the spray that they have they actually advertise on tv where you can actually spray the grass and it's very very fertile seed and it usually grows in very shady places and that's usually the problem here because if you look up here right now there's a lot of sun but when the uh trees get their leaves again most of the sun is blocked from this location and that's why none of the grass ever seems to grow here but you know what that's that's definitely a project for uh <laughs> for the spring and going into the summer hopefully probably the spring but as you can see it's really looking like snow right now it feels like it you can see the really thick clouds here Right now, being 39, it would come down as kind of a mixed precipitation, but the temperature is steadily going down, and I definitely think we're going to see a little bit of snow tonight, but uh, it's definitely coming tomorrow. T in, tonight into tomorrow, by 6 a.m., they're saying we should have about six inches of snow. Another thing I want to show you was this. You can even see some of the, um, the needles here that the birds were using to build the nest. I actually had to clean this out, like I said before yesterday. But let's just make sure they're not uh, getting in here again. You can kind of see it there. You can see that um, there's a little bit of debris right here. The nest was kind of being built right in here. And it's odd because we I guess we haven't used this in a while. Um, I haven't really checked it because it's just been kind of cold and rainy this year. As a matter of fact, let's see if she even lights. Oh, yeah, she's working. But, I mean, it's crazy. This grill is only a couple years old, and you can look down there. You can see that the uh, the flavor bars are totally rotted out, and those are original, but these actual grills up here were replaced, and you can see we're even getting some rust on these now, and I try to clean this as best I can, so little top tip, don't buy a charbroil grill. These things are not made to last at all. These things, at least this one, is a total piece of garbage. I cannot believe this thing's only about two and a half, Baxter. three years old. Because they hide everybody again. He's being a good boy, but he knows he's really not supposed to be on here. But he's such a sweet cat, I don't want to discipline him. <laughs> he was just playing with LT, of course. Again, she's going to have none of it. You all right, buddy? Are you tired? See if you can hear his purrs. Yeah, you're going to purr? You're going to tell, show everybody how loudly you purr? Good boy. All right, Bax, we'll see you a little bit later, hopefully in another video. Oh, we'll definitely see you in another video. Good boy. All right, tubers, so it is official. We have been upgraded to a blizzard warning. I'm shocked. Uh, the last I heard, it was supposed to be a severe snowstorm, which means basically like a foot of snow 
and just like regular conditions. But now that they've upgraded to a blizzard, I think we're looking more like 12 to 15 inches of snow is the latest. And they're also saying that the winds are going to be picking up. So the bad part there, it could move snow banks in more towards the house and could also pile more snow on the road, depending on what way the wind's blowing. So... I don't know. I think we're in for a big, big problem this time. I knew it was coming this year. You guys kind of probably hear my voice. I'm excited. I kind of am because we have not had a really good snowstorm here in a couple of years. Um, unfortunately, that means we are going to be stuck in the house for sure for a while. Um, now, we can get out with Dad's truck, but we're not going to take the risk because even though we know how to drive in snow, most people around here do not. So that's what you really have to worry about. You have to worry more about the people hitting you rather than you hitting somebody else. However, Dad and I are planning tomorrow morning on going to Nick's for breakfast. Um, they're expecting to have me about six inches of snow on the ground, which really isn't nothing uh, for that truck at, that, uh, at the point that we're going to need to leave, which is probably around 7 o'clock. It will be very interesting to see how many other people uh, join us there. Um, we're going to take it nice and slowly. Dad's got the four-wheel drive truck. He even just put new snow tires on it, so this truck should be golden. Well, I shouldn't say snow tires. They're all season tires, but they're much better in the snow than the older tires were. Well, I'm going to go and pause the video for a few minutes, and I want to give you an update on something else. All right, Talk tubers. To you the first update is to my Asus Core i7, the one that I picked up at the local thrift store. I'm almost positive this computer is going. I talked to YouTube user Jonathan Dominic. He lives um, I don't know, about an hour or so from me. And he has a 2011 uh, 21.5 inch iMac that I think would be absolutely perfect. And I told him that I'm interested in buying it. But first I do have to sell this. So after the blizzard, uh, this is actually going to be put um, for sale. Uh, I'm going to try and sell it locally on Craigslist. Um, but if you guys are interested, you can text, you can send me a personal message. Um, price wise, I think I'm going to list this for $450. Um, there are ones selling, uh, of, of, of similar specs selling for a little bit more. There are ones selling for a little bit less, but I think that's about the sweet spot for the price. And for that price, I will include a monitor. I don't know if it, it's either going to be this monitor here. It's probably going to be this monitor. This is a uh, Samsung SyncMaster 204A, 20-inch non-widescreen monitor. But if I can find something a little bit better before I put this up for sale, then I might go ahead and include that. But for now, it'll be the computer, monitor, keyboard, mouse, and I will make sure it has a uh, wireless end card with it. So I'm going to try to sell it locally, but if some, if one of you guys out there is really interested in this, I would be, cons I would consider shipping it, but only to the continental United States. I'm not shipping out of, out of the country because it just gets too, and too the messy. And thing that I want to update point. you guys on is this system. You guys probably remember this laptop from a few months back. I actually bought it brand new at Best Buy. This is that um, AMD A10 laptop laptop that uh, I was using uh, when I actually used this when we went up to uh, visit my uncle. Well, unfortunately, I am, act I am selling this, and it's not really by my choice. A very good friend of ours, her neighbor, is in desperate need of a laptop, and she wants to get one before the blizzard comes, and basically she's stuck in the house. Uh, for a week, so I agreed to sell this laptop to her. I'm not going to give you the price, but I'm 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 get, I'm selling it for a decent decent deal. So what I'm going to do, I don't really need a laptop this fancy. I only ever use laptops when um, when I go out of town, and that's maybe once or twice a year. So I'm going to actually just get another laptop, probably off of Craigslist or something. It, may, it doesn't even have to be a quad core. It may just be like a dual core laptop, and I'll go ahead and use that as my traveling system. But this is actually way more than I need, so it actually works out really, right, really nice. Well, as you can see, I'm outside right in front of my house, and the snow has not actually started yet. We had a little band come through, gave us a few flurries, but since then it's stopped. However, the latest update here is 12 to 15 inches so we could actually see more like a foot or a foot and a half and i will be keeping you guys updated but i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because as it starts to snow tonight i'm gonna switch over to my sony dcr trv 280 the eight millimeter camcorder because that one i can shoot in almost pitch black and you can actually see what's going on so hope you guys really enjoyed the vlog today um please remember to like and subscribe and as always have a blessed day, everybody. Beep, beep.